first thing we'll do <clears throat> for the last couple of hours, we've had a piece of 35 mil, that just one of the samples. Nothing special being done to it, but I just wanted to see how far through the water had actually soaked. Because it's been sitting in here since you know, one o'clock, something like that. So just the water off the outside. This is not like what you need to do, I'm just doing this so I can unwind it without more water going in, because I want to see how far through the emulsion the water has gone. <clears throat> so you normally wouldn't wipe your film down with paper towel. Just want to make that right clear. Ooh, hear that lovely wow. sticky noise. This is polyester too. Hmm. We're getting some really interesting effects on this already. But more outside than the other. Well, it's been sitting more on one side than the other. It's going back into the water. Oh, that's okay. Okay, <clears throat> so this were the loose winds towards the end. And as we're coming through here, from what I can gather, my eyes are a bit dodgy, but apart from the occasional place where it actually runs right, right through for whatever reason, like the wine's not perfect or something like that, it's really only sticking around the edges. And then it's not even really going past the perforations. <clears throat> so that's a couple of hours immersion. So if you just like had a sprinkler going or something like that, and the lid blew off, as long as the film wasn't sort of sitting in the um, the water overnight or something like that, it wouldn't be very wet at all. Mm -hmm. So the actual image area would be quite safe.